The struggle kids covered the roads with large stones and damaged road signs whilst chasing off frightened drivers. What started off as a peaceful march soon turned into a confrontation between the struggle kids and the special reserve force. The reserve force chased the kids, shooting white smoke, and the struggle kids responded by throwing stones as they ran. In order for the struggle kids to escape the assault from the special reserve force, they had to go through this fence to the Ndilimani camp. Once they arrived at the camp, a standoff ensued with the struggle kids regrouping at the campsite while the police took a position about 500 meters away from them. Inside the camp, the struggle kids started huge fires alongside the road to obstruct the police. The fire was set by the Special Reserve Force because they were shooting white smoke at us, which ignited the grass. We only wanted to march and speak to the Prime Minister herself, but then the Special Reserve Force started to attack us without provocation. A few minutes later, they marched towards the police who were keen to engage them to find common ground. Feeling victorious, the struggle kids shut the gate as the law enforcement retreated peacefully. Reporting for the News on One, I'm Joseph Shifene.